saints. We often think of them as very pious yet stern and distant people. They seem to be on a different level from you and me. Even our modern-day models of holiness seem too holy for us. But the truth is, all of us are called to be holy. Yet, we do not have to be in church all day to be holy. We can simply live our lives by following the commandments of God and responding to His call to do even more. And yes, as lay people, we can live holy lives. We can be inspired by lay people like us who lived ordinary lives, witnessing for the Lord. With Gianna Beretta Mola, a wife and mother, who witnessed by choosing the life of her baby. Wife, mother, career woman, and pro-life witness. Happily ever after. That seems to be every little girl's dream, right? And that is just what St. Gianna Beretta Mola got. She had quite a life that went happily ever after. Gianna Beretta was born in Magenta, Italy in 1922. She became a doctor in 1949 and set up her practice. In 1954, Gianna met Pietro Mola, an engineer. They fell in love and in 1955, the two were married. The couple was blessed with three children, Pier Luigi, Mario Lina, and Laura. In 1961, Gianna was pregnant again, this time a difficult one. Gianna was faced with a difficult choice to have her own life saved or that of her baby. And Gianna chose to have her baby saved even at the risk of losing her own life. She said, If you must choose between me and the baby, no hesitation. I choose and I demand it. The baby save her. The child Gianna Emanuela was born on April 21, 1962, a good Friday. Gianna, however, died seven days later. Gianna was canonized a saint in 2004 by Blessed Pope John Paul II. Saint Gianna Beretta Mola is now living happily ever after with the Lord. Like St. Gianna Beretta Mola, you and I can choose life and choose Jesus. Let us be inspired by the lives of our modern-day saints and Filipino saints. And you too may inspire others to be holy.